Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve an equation that looks like this one. Kind of a funky looking equation, but as you're going to see, it's really not so bad at all. Um, the first thing to do is to clear out this fraction, same kind of technique we'd use in any equation um, where we've got a fraction involved. We typically want to clear that fraction out. So if you want to just think of this as a proportion, you can just cross multiply or simply just multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator to clear that, clear that out. That's really a, a more appropriate way to do it, so let's do it that way. So we're going to multiply both sides by 1 plus e to the negative x. So on the left we have 400, and on the right we have 200 times 1 plus e to the negative x. All right, still a little wonky looking, but let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and distribute over here. So that's 200 plus 200e to the negative x. And now let's try to isolate this exponential part. Let's try to get this part by itself. So we'll subtract the 200 from both sides. So we get 200 equals 200e to the negative x. And now again, we're trying to get this x part isolated, um, get this in exponential form so we can do something with it. So we'll divide both sides by 200 and we end up with 1 equals e to the negative x. And that's an equation that we can solve right now, because e to the what would give me 1? Well, we saw that before. We've seen that many times before. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so x would have to be 0 to make this equation true. But if you wanted to solve it more formally, we'd take this exponential equation and rewrite it as a log. But in this case, because it, the base is e, it's a natural log. So we'd have the natural log of 1 is equal to negative x. Well, what's the natural log of 1? Again, you should recognize that any log of 1 is 0, because that's how these things work. If the exponent is 0, you get 1. But if you didn't recognize that, you would just pop natural log of 1 in your calculator, and you'd get 0 and say, oh yeah, I should have known that. So 0 is negative x, and so that means that x is 0, and you've just solved this kind of funky-looking equation. That's all for now. Thanks.